Hello everyone, my name is Moadzine El Abidin and I am a PhD student currently at my second year in the University of Angers in the Laboratory Laris and in the research uh, group Imorphen. And today I'm going to present my paper Dimensionality Reduction for Ordinal Classification accepted in the 29th edition of UZIPCO. So ordinal data refers to the type of data where there is an inherent order between classes and the other are represented in a discrete one dimensional values. And when we are working with a high dimensional feature space extracted from ordinal data, it is expected to find this uh, um, intrinsic structure of ordinality in this feature space. And to be able to visualize it, we use dimension reduction techniques. Several dimensional reduction techniques are available to reduce the high feature space to a low feature space, such as PCA, TSNE, LDA, and other ones. But although these um, techniques can be very useful, they don't incorporate the order information during their projection process. And a uh, few uh, works addressed uh, dimension reduction techniques for ordinal problem, such as this work, which proposed a supervised method based on uh, sufficient uh, dimension reduction uh, developed to a regression problem. But however, this addresses only a regression problem, while in this paper, we present a dimension reduction technique called the best view projection for ordinal classification. We present it as a complementary dimension reduction Plus, it helps the viewer to visualize the ordinality uh, as clearly as possible, whether in a 2D or 3D feature space. Now, before presenting the details of this projection algorithm, I want to mention that this method can be applied on n-dimensional feature space uh, and no lim not limited to a certain number of classes. And for illustration, we demonstrate this on a 3D feature space and uh, with the five, uh, five uh, classes. So the first step is, uh, of this projection process is to center the data such as the mean center corresponds to the uh, origin of the view sphere. Next, the objective is to find the optimal viewpoint such as when we look through this viewpoint, we can see the classes as far from each other as possible. So this means that the objective is to maximize this function that corresponds to the sum of Euclidean distance between the, um, between the adjacent centers. And if we look at this uh, schema, maximizing the distances between adjacent classes in this uh, projection plane um, refers to minimizing this function uh, subject to normal uh, to norm one because we are looking for viewpoints that only exist in the surface of the view sphere. So to find this viewpoint, a gradient descent together with the retraction formulation is computed. The retraction is for selecting, as we said, only viewpoints that are in the external or in the surface of the viewpoint. So for uh, first we initialize a viewpoint and we initialize also uh, the learning rate uh, and uh, the, the threshold and um, for each new uh, viewpoint uh, obtained one due the due, uh, with the gradient scale uh, gradient descent uh, the a comparison between the find the, uh, the obtained viewpoint and the previous one uh, is done based on this uh, arc cosine um, function and if the result is less than the threshold selected initially the optimal viewpoint is selected at the best one and the projection is done. If it's not the case, we follow the gradient descent uh, until a view, the optimal viewpoint is selected. Once uh, the viewpoint is selected, we project instances from n to n minus 1 and the process is repeated until we reach the target dimension. So for the assessment, we propose a visual assessment to compare BVP to the existing dimension reduction techniques. We demonstrate this on a first uh, synthetic data set in 3D uh, composed of five classes. We have a first view and a second view. This second view corresponds to the view uh, obtained by a rotation of the 3D model. We can, uh, we can assume that this is the the, the view obtained by the user who searched for the best uh, and optimal view of ordinality. And when we look uh, to the result of BVP, we can see that uh, 
uh, it succeeds at uh, preserving the ordinality in 2D while projecting from 3D and it is similar somehow to the best uh, uh, view of ordinality um, uh, obtained by the rotation of the user. And if we look to uh, PCA results, we see uh, a bad result. I mean, uh, the ordinality is not uh, preserved at all. And this can be explained uh, by the fact that uh, the, um, the direction of the variance of the data uh, is not aligned with the, the direction of ordinality. And if we look uh, to other dimension reduction techniques, MDS, uh, TSNI, LDA, we can see that uh, LDA, LSDA, uh, LSDA um, succeed at preserving our delality, while TSNI, MDS fail. Uh, MDS for the reason that uh, the the uh, it it will project uh, um, it will project uh, from t from n to n minus one by computing the pairwise distance between instances and uh, here we have some instances that uh, are near to each other uh, and they do not belong to the same class so this is why we uh, obtain this um, uh, noisy structure. And for TESNI, although we have some uh, local clusters uh, that are uh, composed of uh, instances that belong to the same class, but still the, um, the intrinsic structure of ordinality is not preserved. And uh, if we look at uh, this additional assessment of, uh, once again, a simulated data, but uh, in this case, Swiss roll data, we can see that BVP succeed uh, also at uh, obtaining the best uh, view of uh, of ordinality that corresponds somehow to the view obtained by a rotation uh, of this uh, 3D structure. Uh, we see also that uh, PCA fails for the same reason and MDS uh, succeed this time uh, uh, because the distance between classes is um, far and uh, so we can, we can um, MDS can uh, preserve uh, ordinality. And uh, if we look at LDA, uh, which uh, succeeded uh, before uh, at preserving ordinality, we can still here uh, say that it preserved ordinality, but the structure is somehow noisy because uh, LDA uh, during the project, uh, its projection pro uh, process, it takes into account the distance of instance to the center. And the fact that we have some instances here that are near to the center of other classes makes, uh, makes the, um, the projection looks like this. So uh, the final experiments uh, conducted on high dimensional feature space uh, uh, obtained from real data exported from this work and uh, we highlight only BVP, LDA and LSDA, those two because they were the ones showing great results on synthetic uh, data set. And we can see that BVP outperforms uh, globally the LDA and LSDA for this real data set. Uh, although LDA um, C preserves the ordinality in some configuration, but the full structure of uh, uh, data uh, is uh, lost. While in BVP, we can see, uh, see this nice visualization of data while preserving ordinality. So to conclude, BVP uh, shows a good result regarding the visualization of ordinality by comparison to the classical dimension reduction techniques uh, such as PCA, TSNI, LDA and others. And as perspectives, we aim to introduce the pairwise distance um, during the projection process while considering of course the class order as we do currently. And also we aim to uh, go for another direction uh, by using this technique to find the optimum um, dimension to provide an input to a classifier for a machine learning um, uh, problem in a, for ordinal data. So this is it. I hope it was clear for you. Thank you for your kind attention and please don't hesitate to uh, ask or send us uh, questions. Thank you.